is Knuckle Up TV. I'm with Bruce Scott. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. I see the belts in front of you. I see the WBU. I see the Commonwealth. And I see the British. Yeah, and the British take a uh, win it all, all to right, Lanzel, uh, the Lanzel belt all to right by beating Gary Delaney in three rounds. Yeah, in York Hall in London. Uh, let's firstly, before we talk about your glamorous career mm -hmm. and, and how you got to winning all the belts and obviously fighting Johnny Nelson, what Firstly, how did you start getting into boxing? Obviously, you come from Jamaica, firstly, which obviously had a lot of cream of top-notch boxers over the years. Yeah, Jamaica yeah. was the place of... Um, Charlie Colin, Burbick. Yeah, Charlie Burbick, Michael McCullum Michael and, um, and me, of yeah, course, and, and many more, many more guys, um, Shimpy Clark and those guys. Yeah, um, I was in Jamaica, I was a little... Boy, I always like fighting, you know. And I um, tell my dad and my mom, my mom and they take me to the Manteca Bay Boxing Club. And I joined it and that was it. You what's, know? This, what's the facilities like out there, obviously, to start getting into boxing? Yeah, um, you go to the gym and they ask if you can join the gym and you join the gym and that was it. If you're good, yeah. you're good. If you're bad, they put you one side, you know. Okay. But if you're good, then stick with you and train you properly. You know, it was, it was really good, and uh, we have this guy out there called Dr. Elmire in Montego Bay. He was supporting the boxing in, in Jamaica a lot, especially Montego Bay side, you know. So, but he's passed away now, and uh, he was a good guy, you know. Okay, and then obviously you came to the UK at what age? Yeah, I came to the UK when I was 21, 21. you know, through boxing. Boxing bring me here. I you know, you have the afro, you have the little yeah, afro, yeah, high top. I have the afro high top, you know, no, but you uh, can see no high top no more. It's all gone, isn't it? It's all gone. No worry. I did the job throat, I cut it off. It still looks fresh. Yeah, nice and cute. But yeah, so, um, yeah, when I came to England, I was a manager. Mickey Duff was my manager. And um, I got 18 fights with Mickey Duff, which I win. I mean, um, I lost one and I've been 17, and I thought I was, I was um, unbelievable. Nobody could beat me, and um, I boxed Nicky Piper for the Commonwealth Championship, light heavy. And he uh, I mean, beat me um, in seven round, and um, by, uh, I, get a, I get a splash ahead, and my eye was come up, so I couldn't see it at one eye by a splash. And um, they had, they had, the referee had to start the fight. And uh, I moved up to Cruiserweight, and that was it. You know, me and my trainer, Frank Black. It was good stuff, man. It was good stuff. And I, 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 then at the time, Frank Warren come to be my manager. And Frank Warren, he really worked hard with me. And Frank, 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 Frank Black, my trainer, and Frank Warren, they stick with me and make me a champion, man. It was good. You know you wasn't easy to match at that time. It was a difficult... I was a difficult guy to match. Nobody want to fight me. Nobody want to fight me, you know, because um, I, I punch hard. And everybody was scared of fighting me, you know, so it was hard to get fights. So I had to take whatever fight and put in there, you know, I have to deal with it. Like, even people like, even Carl Thompson, I heard he's, make, he's making a comeback tonight. He's making a comeback. Yeah, and um, I went to Manchester and I sparred with him and I even bruised up his ribs, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was, on Carl Thompson, he's a good, he's a strong guy, you know, but he's a good fighter, you know. But um, I would be on him in the sparring, toe to toe in Manchester. And it was good. Actually, yeah, I would love to fight Carl Thompson. I, 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 maybe I would maybe make a comeback. You know, two fight or three fight. I'm How back, Carl Thompson. Answer? Well, I'm 47 at the moment, and um, and basically age is a number. Age is a number. I look like um, I look, I look like I feel in my body. I feel like 35. You know, but um, and I train. I train every day. I train. I do, I do weight, and I still do boxing training. You know, every day, and I eat good. You know, and I live good. You know? What about training fighters outside the ring? As in, like, becoming a trainer? Yeah, I do talk about it. I do talk about becoming an amateur trainer, you know? And um, so maybe that's something in the pipeline I'm looking forward to, to give back, you know? But I would go back to Jamaica and give it back to the kids in Jamaica, you know? And that's, that's the place, because I already have my house in Jamaica, so I got somewhere to go back to, which is good. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Boxing's been, boxing's been good to you. Boxing's a, good to you. Um, what did you say? Frankie, um, yeah. boxing is my um, DNA. My life. Your life. Boxing is my life. Thank God for boxing. Yeah. Because I was a little terror in Jamaica. Mm, and everybody, everybody, a lot of people talk bad about me in Jamaica, put me down. Yeah. You know, and look at what me. What part of Jay did you grow up in? Well, I was from Falmouth. 
you know, I was from Falmouth, you know, but um, boxing take me out, and I thank God for boxing, and I, I, I saw happy the day I went and tell my parents I want to do boxing, and they could um, make me, take me to the gym in Mantica Bay and I joined it, and um, I had my first amateur fight in, in one month, and I lost it, you know, and people was laughing after me, oh, you can't, this, you can't, that. And I have 57 more amateur fight, and I win um, for um, 50, 53, you know, so I did have a good amateur career. And then um, I come to England when I was 21. You grew up in Hackney? I grew up in, Hackney. yeah, come up, come to Hackney, yeah. and um, I got, I make my name in Hackney. Mm. You know, actually I make my name in England through boxing. Every, yeah. Majority of people know me in England through boxing, mm. you know. Yeah, so boxing was a big part of my life. And my children as well, you know. I got four girls, mm. you know, which I love, you know. And um, my kids just keep me going, you know, right now in boxing. But the, the most important thing I want to, I, I love to um, apply for the amateur license to give back something That's what I'm and go to Jamaica. I, um, because as I say, I won't, be, I won't be living in England for the rest of my life. Mm. But um, I want to go back to Jamaica and give back something to the kids in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, because I'm... Um, even the other day, I tell my friend, um, I think I'm gonna go to Jamaica and open a boxing gym, you know, in Falmouth somewhere, you Can't know. Move. Yeah, I think that'd be good, you know. Johnny yeah. Nelson, when you collided with the WBO, who's my title? Yeah, I was just, me and Johnny was just keep, wasn't coming in my way. He didn't want to get involved with me because um, he knew I was a big puncher and I got heavy on it. But Johnny was just, I was just caught, I was caught up with him slowly. And I, when I started to throw the right hand to his stomach, I could hear him get, mm, mm, Uncle Yego, mm, all the time, and um, but I mean, but Johnny was Johnny was so clever. He's so quick thinker in the ring, you know. He just don't get involved, you know. And that's what I like with the guy. He was a very awkward fighter, you know. He couldn't catch him. He couldn't reach him, you know. But I only could catch him with a body shot. But um, when he see me, I went to Carnival and I saw him. We met. We bumped into each other in Carnival. He said, "Oh my God, Bruce, those body shots he was throwing, those straight right to the body. Oh my God, you made me urinate." I urinate blood, man. I say, I'm sorry, Johnny, but I just didn't want to win, but you beat me to it, you know? Yeah, Johnny, it was a good fight we have together, you know? And every time I see Johnny, there's loads of love and respect for Johnny. Johnny's cool. Then you had two back to back world title fights, didn't you? You, had, you boxed. Juan um, Carlos Gomez, Carlos in, Gomez in, in, in Germany. Johnny Nelson. Yeah, yeah I, I boxed uh, Juan Carlos Gomez in Germany because Juan Carlos Gomez. Was he, we was a, we was a sparring partner because we was when I was going to Germany all the time we I was sparring with him but I was in Jamaica for like an holiday and um, his opponent pulled out and they asked me to box for him and um, I went and fight him in Germany and he beat me you know, the referee started the fight but I wasn't I didn't train for the fight I shouldn't take the fight why, which was wrong why did why did you not train for that fight because like I said I was in I was in Jamaica you know I did um because I, I know him I know him. we spar so many times. You know, we spar for years, you know, because um, German, Germany was like a training camp. So we always go there and spar with each other. Um, so I went and took the fight. I did only come, when I come back to England, I train. I caught my holiday in Jamaica and I come back to England and I train. Um, I trained for like four weeks. Didn't get enough sparring, you know. And um, but I got in the fight, they beat me in seven rounds, you know. And uh, I got another fight with... Um, uh, Johnny Nelson as well. Johnny beat me on points as I said to you. Enzo McAnally, you know, he beat me as well, you know, for the World Championship fight. Yeah. So I boxed for the World Championship three times, but never win it. But um, I got my belt here. They got the British, Mr. Lanzel, look how cute he is. And um, I got the Commonwealth here. I got the WBU International. Hey, yo, don't check this out, man. This is hard work. Hard work. And um, I would love to. Um, Maybe, maybe, just maybe, come back into the ring. Okay. And um, I will say to you before, maybe um, call, maybe all the, all the boys coming call back the, now. You want to call the cat out? Yeah, call the cat, call Thompson out, maybe, yeah. you know? And all right. We can, we can do something. He's watching, he'll see. Yeah, you and yeah call see. Thompson if you're watching, maybe we can do something. <laughs> and show them that age is only a number. See, Jamaica is a third world country, and um, it's not have all the stuff like England or America, you know, it's not really rich, you know, but um, the, the, the guys them out there, they spend a lot of money on sport, you know, boxing, athletics, you know, and other sports was coming out now.
you know. So yeah, that's why we are very good in what we will do, and we are very hungry. You know, we are hungry, and the people here is not very hungry like Jamaica. In Jamaica, we are hungry because we want to get out of where what's going on, you know. And that's why we work hard and discipline ourselves and um, do what we have to do, you know. Definitely. Yeah, sure, yeah. You know what? That would be amazing if you could go out there and do that. I think they would benefit a lot from you. I mean, oh my! And your knowledge. Oh my God, man! You know. You yeah. Fight for it. Your country, you know. Of course, I would love to. I would love to give back something, you know. But as I say to you, my um, my kids are here, and um, my big daughter, she finished university. She'll be a lawyer soon, mm. and um, the second one should be finished university in two, two, three years, and the other two. So I'm focused on the kids at the moment, you know. So after that, um, why not? I'll go to Jamaica and give back something. Well, well I have to give back because I live in England 26, 27 years now. Mm. You know, and I'm getting older, but I don't look it, which is good, you know? Mm. Man look good. <laughs> <laughs> look fresh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Black don't crack, that's what they say. Well, I'm not going to get into the black thing, but... Um, did is that... you, when you came to the UK, did you find it very much of a struggle? What, how, how did you feel when you first landed in the UK and you, obviously, boxing was your first passion? Well, she doesn't bring you in much income to start with. So what were you doing to start with? Well, like when I just come to England, I come here to England through the, the Menlis, Louis Menlis and Ambrose Menlis. And, um, okay. Yeah, so oh. they, 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 they was, they, uh, I need to mention those guys. Those guys yeah, was yeah. good. They was good. Me and my, me and my friend come to um, England. Me and Everell, his name is Everell William. And they come to Jamaica and they see us and they like us. We are good. So they invite us over here and... Um, so they was put us up. We was in a place, and um, you know they give us a, a, a flat, and um, they give us money, and they give us food. You know we never do without. And we, so I was just focused on the gym. You know my job was go to the gym and get my money in the week. Mm-hmm. Every week they give us money. So this gym, that's my life. So my life was pure. You know. So it was it wasn't hard the way, but it, as the way people might think. You know, but uh, it was hard because I was here without my family. You know, I was here, I was a young man, I was 21 year old, 21 year old, I just um, come to England and no nobody here, more than these guys. And um, it was hard, man, it was, it was very hard. But I stick in there, as I say, I'm from Jamaica. If you're from Jamaica, you can go anywhere and make it, you know? It's pretty, it's got be hungry, you know? Well, it's lovely being with you, and being in your presence. Yeah. Um, obviously, finding out more about yourself, and uh, it was a nice being with you, Bruce. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, this is Knuckle Up TV. Bruce Scott, we're out of here.